So we're from Madam Swords Hollywood. Um, we're here to do a sitting with Jane Lynch. She was voted by our guests that come into the attraction, so people request who they want to see, so it's all done by the fans. We do about six of them, so if you get on the shortlist, you're very, very popular. Jane was right up there at the top. Well, I'm posing for my wax figure for uh, <laughs> the wax museum, and I'm thrilled. It's, like, just amazing. I hope we capture the inner Sue, but you know what? The inner Sue is the inner Jane Lynch as well. I mean, there's a little uh, mean girl in me, and um, it's, it's the part of me that I use for Sue Sylvester. So I, couldn't, I probably couldn't act it if I didn't have it in me. So I think the most important thing with a pose is what we're trying to do, essentially, is create a kind of a 3D map, as it were, of that person, so that you feel in the presence of that person when you stand against the figure. Obviously, your body language you know, he's very much a part of who you are. Um, mm. So you don't want to do something too contrived and right. think about where's this elbow going to go and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, go for it, strike a pose. Well, it's it's the kind of um, the panther and waiting kind of a thing, ready to attack, ready to jump, but there's a stillness. It's kind of a, a stealthy, very dangerous, at any moment I could go Rrr! So that's what I'm hoping for. It's like it's alive, but it's very still. Personally, I really like doing a figure like we're doing today. Sue Sylvester is obviously a character, so we're not really creating Jane Lynch as herself, we're creating her as Sue Sylvester. Um, and that's obviously a little bit more fun because the character's perhaps a little larger than life, um, and that's something that we can kind of put across in the wax figure. We take a lot of measurements of the body, so we take things like bone lengths, uh, like from the elbow to the wrist, for example, and then we'll take like from the hip to the shoulder, so we kind of get the attitude of the figure correctly. The majority of measurements that we take are of the face. So we put little dots on the face, uh, and that allows us to take the measurements back to the same point every time. The dots kind of create a map for us. Wouldn't it be funny if Sue Sylvester commissioned these people to have her likeness made in wax, and that's not, I don't think that's over the top for her. I think it's something that she would do. She'd put it in her trophy case. So today we've basically tried to gain as much information as possible. We've, we've checked color reference, we've looked very closely at Jane's eyes, and we've got a whole selection of eye samples, so we try and match the whites of the eyes, the colors of the eyes, and the same with the hair. If there's three or four different shades of hair going on around the head, then we need to match each of those so that we have an absolute perfect reproduction. It was amazing, and these people are artists and craftsmen, and everything was very intricate, and it's very detailed, and I, I learned absolutely nothing about what they were doing. I had no idea what they were doing. I just sat as still as I could, and um, I'm so excited to see what comes out of it. We then take all of that information back to the UK with us, where the figures are made, um, just outside of London. So the information that I've gathered today, we take back to the studio. So the process will start at the sculpting department. So the sculpting department will get, will take all the measurements and begin the figure. There we create a clay mould. We then break that mould open and then put it back together again. It's quite laborious. And then as the figure moves through from the sculpting department to the moulding department and then to the hair and finishing department. That head goes off for hair and colouring, where we insert the hairs um, individually, strand by strand. So her hair will drop the exact same way that it, it drops um, in real life. And then we do the colouring, then we put the eyes in and the teeth. So even if um, Jane isn't smiling with any teeth, we still put the teeth in because that affects the um, shape of your face. The whole process takes between three to four months to make, so we're quite pleased to be here to, to, to create a Glee experience for our guests in the Hollywood attraction. Hi, everybody. I want to thank the people at Madame Tussauds for, for um, choosing to uh, en ensconce Sue Sylvester in wax. Um, I am so proud to play her. I love every morning that I get to put on that track suit. I look forward to see what color I'm wearing that day. So thank you so much for being here today. As I drove up by the Roosevelt Hotel and I saw this, and I was with my family and I saw all of you out here, I was like, unbelievable. So I am completely moved by this and I cannot wait to meet my better half. <laughs> Crap. Unbelievable. Look at this. This is unreal. I, I do feel like I'm looking at myself. I, 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 you know, sometimes when I see pictures of myself, I go, I don't look like that. But I feel like that's me. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. You guys are great. And I think you might have minimized my ass. And I appreciate that. I'm a little overwhelmed and I'm uh, a little scared of her. 
and I know why people are afraid of me now. I mean, I, I'm so tall, and I'm kind of in your face, and it's funny. It's, it's so worth it, and I was so honored. It's nice to know I can go visit myself kind of frozen at this age. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Let's hear it for Sue Sylvester. We've just launched the Jane Lynch figure outside in our courtyard, Modern Swords Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Um, we got Jane Lynch to come down to launch the figure of Sue Sylvester. She loved the figure. And as you can see, we've got this amazing lifelike room set behind her. So it's like you've just stepped into Sue Sylvester's office. It's probably to get a good grilling, I'm sure. Glee's a phenomenon across the world, so she's going to be fabulous, I'm sure. I think all the Glee fans are going to absolutely adore it. And this is how Sue sees it.